Hey there fellow creators! In the world of Unreal Engine, the Ultra Dynamic Sky is your gateway to breathtaking visuals. And today, I will show you how to achieve stunning results in just a matter of minutes using only a handful of key parameters. Join me as we embark on a journey into the ethereal realm of cinematic environments where mountain peaks pierce the dense fog, creating an awe-inspiring vista. So, together, we will unlock the secrets to crafting truly immersive scenes in just a snap. So before we start, I want to mention that I am using the Ultra Dynamic Sky plugin, which you can purchase from the Unreal Engine's marketplace. And I highly recommend you to use it if you want to achieve stunning results in terms of exterior lightings. And the use of this blueprint is so simple, just drag it to your scene just like that. And as you can see here, I have two ultra dynamic skies. So let's hide the first one and start from scratch to see how we can achieve a dense fog using this plugin. So let's start with changing the project mode to cinematic because I want to see the best results real time in my project. And after that, I'm going to decrease the cloud coverage, which controls the density and distribution of clouds in the sky and after that let's increase the fog which adjusts the overall density of atmospheric fog. So as you can see there are a bunch of parameters in each category but I want to keep it simple as much as possible. But the other parameter that I want to enable is two layers cloud which enables a multi-layer cloud system for added depth. And I want you to focus on the sky as I'm increasing the layer to extinction scale, which fine tunes the visual impact of the second cloud layer. And after that, let's see how we can scale the second cloud layer for varied effects with the layer to cloud scale parameter over here. And if you want to get the best results in terms of the second layer cloud, you should be playing with these parameters Actually, that's what I'm doing right now. So let's just move on. And the other parameter that I want to make some changes on it is the cloud wisps opacity, which modifies the transparency of cloud wisps. But due to the sun's position, I think we're not able to see exactly what is going on with these parameters. So let's move on and just enable this button over here to simulate the real sun effect. And as you can see, as soon as we activate this parameter, we can see some changes in our sky. So let's make some changes on these longitude and latitude sliders to manually position the sun's location. Well, right now I want to put the sun close to the mountains to convey the sunset feeling in my scene. And I think it looks fine to me. Let's play with this time zone slider a bit, but no need to touch more. Let's move on. Let me see. Yeah, it's okay. So let's move on. So let's scroll down and see what we have here. In the sun's category, we have the sun radius. And as its name indicates, it changed the radius of the sun. So I think no need to make big changes on this parameter over here. And here we reach to the fog category. So first of all, let's activate the volumetric fog. And as you can see, we made some big changes on our scene. And after that, let's make some changes on the base fog density, which sets the baseline density of the fog. And beside it, we have another important parameter in this case, which is foggy height fog fall off. And this parameter determines how fog density changes with height in your scene. And we're not limited with the value of 0.5 in this case, and we can set it to even higher values like one or even two, but we need to make some changes again with the base fog density to see what is the best for our case. But this is the key moment of this video because I want to introduce another plugin which can make huge difference in your scenes in terms of adding volumetric fogs. And that is the Screen Space Fog Scattering plugin. But let me just check if I was right about it. Yeah, it's right here. The Screen Space Fog Scattering 
It's the second plugin in this window. As you can see, it's activated. So let's see how it impacted our scene. Let me just write the command to disable it. And as you can see, we just lose some pretty, pretty good volumetric fog effect in our scene. And let's bring it back and there we have it. So as I mentioned, this is a real game changer. And if you want to have some dreamlike volumetric fogs in your scene, I highly recommend you to use it. So as we wrap up our exploration of Ultra Dynamic Sky in the enchanting worlds, it opens up for us. Remember, creating cinematic vistas has never been this simple. With just a few tweaks, you can bring your virtual landscapes to life and captivate your audience. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Keep creating, and until next time, may your skies always be dynamic and your landscapes forever awe-inspiring. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos.